Hey guys, welcome. We're going to get started on a blocking in demo in acrylics. Um, we're just going to get everything loosely established and once that layer has dried we'll do another uh, tutorial on the refining portion of uh, getting started in acrylics. So I want to go over the materials we're going to be using. We're going to be using a large flat brush, bristle flat brush, medium bristle flat brush, and a small bristle filbert, only because my other bristle flat is dirty from doing my oil demo and I don't want to clean brushes yet. So uh, the colors that we're going to be working with are cadmium yellow, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, titanium white, and raw umber. As always, I want to start with my background first and work my way forward. So I'm going to start with my palette knife, which you also need. Move this liquid out of the way. Um, I'm going to start with my palette knife and I'm going to begin by blocking in um, the basic color of my background area and I do want to stick with this nice medium blue that I see in my reference photo. I've gone ahead and just sketched everything out quickly in charcoal since it's such a simple subject. If you were doing something more complex I would recommend doing your preliminary line drawing on tracing paper and then using transfer paper to transfer the image onto your canvas. Um, so to get started I'm going to grab a little bit of cerulean blue a little ultramarine blue, a little raw umber, and a bit of titanium white. Okay, now I'm going to mix all that up. It's kind of a flippy folding motion with the knife to make a nice medium shade of blue that's not too intense. Kind of a blue gray, really. Well, that works. Next, I'm going to block in my background color with my medium blue that I just mixed. I'm going to begin by dunking the brush in my water. And guys, when you do that, well, I can't get a good view on the water, never mind. When you do that, just dunk it about halfway every time. You don't want to put it all the way in because you don't want to get way too much water. But a little bit of water on the brush is going to help to spread out the paint in this first layer. And it's going to go on a little bit rough and scratchy and a little thin. That's okay. At this stage in the painting, you are just concerned about getting your basic color and value blocked in. So don't worry about detail at all in this stage. Okay, so I've got my background blocked in. Now I want to go ahead and start blocking in that shadow color. So I'm going to dunk that brush because acrylics dry so quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a little water on my small brush and add a little bit of my ultramarine blue and a little bit more of my raw umber to create a nice dark shadow color to go right underneath my apple. Go ahead and grab a little alizarin crimson and mix that up too. Okay, while that's still wet, I want to stop and rinse the brush a little bit, wipe the excess from it, and then come back to the edges of that shadow I just blocked in and just kind of rough them up a little bit. You don't want your edges to be too hard on the cast shadows because you don't want them to look solid. Okay, so we've softened that up a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this shadow mixture aside and grab a small amount of my background color 
and mix those two together for a nice in-between shade that I'm gonna use to fill in the rest of this cast shadow. I, again, I want to come back with just a little bit of water on my brush and rough up the outer edges of that. Oop, too much water. Rough up the outer edges of that shadow I just put in place so it doesn't look too solid. I can also come back with a little bit of that background color and diffuse that edge a little further. Now I've got my background blocked in and I'm gonna go ahead and start blocking in the basics of my apple. So for the bulk of the apple, um, I'm just gonna start by filling it in with my cadmium red just straight out of the tube. And I'm gonna be using my medium bristle flat for that. I'm gonna get just a little bit of water loaded up. And start loading up a little bit of my red. Now guys, when you load the brush, it's kind of a back and forth motion. You wanna make sure that you're maintaining the shape of the bristles as you do so, and try not to load it too far up the bristles. You don't wanna load it far enough to where it's hard to clean out. So the further you load the brush to the ferula, the harder it is to clean. Okay, so you're gonna maintain a nice flexible stroke. If uh, you remember to load your brush um, just like that. Grab a little more water to spread this out a bit faster. So with acrylics, I like to start with the mid-tone and then build up my shadows and highlights. Um, so I'm gonna start indicating the form with a nice dark red-brown color um, at the bottom, and then we'll hit the top with some yellow oranges and just lightly diffuse the edges before we fill in the stem. So for that shadow color, I'm gonna grab a little bit of alizarin crimson, a little bit of my raw umber, and a little bit of my ultramarine blue here. Go ahead and mix that up. And when you're mixing your paints, remember it's like a flippy, foldy motion with your palette knife back and forth until you have a nice, consistent color. Be mindful of the ratios of color that you put in place in case you need to remix that color. You'll have a better idea of how you got there. So I'm gonna rinse my medium flat, wipe the excess from the brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that darker shade that we just mixed. Notice that I'm pulling my brush strokes around the form of the apple. That's gonna help it look extra round. 
I'm gonna grab just a little bit more and hit this center of the apple. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to my small flat and go ahead and start blocking in this top area and this bottom area. So to mix those colors, I'm gonna grab my palette knife and a little bit of cad yellow and a little bit of my alizarin crimson, not much, and a small amount of the raw umber and maybe a speck of the cat red too. I want kind of a dirty yellow orange color. That's about right. Now I want to come back and wipe the excess from the brush and diffuse those edges a little bit more. Just as we did with the shadow. Since we have soft value transitions. And if your paint has dried on you, just re-wet the edges of each color and then do this. Coming back with a little bit of Cad Red just to clean up some edges and push the color a little bolder and again pulling my strokes around the form of the apple as best I can anyway. Missed a little bit of my yellow murky color here. I actually want to come back with my larger brush. Just going to wipe the excess out. And I want to just smooth some things out a little bit with very little paint on the brush, if any. While the paint is still wet. And now we're going to block in that stem. I'm going to begin with that same color I used down here on the shadow side of the apple. Now I'm going to grab some of that um, dirty yellow mix for the highlight areas. Just 
so to get a little bit of form on there. Okay. So next I want to start to brighten some things up just a little bit before we call it for this basic block-in um, portion of the painting. Coming in with some cad yellow straight out of the bottle. And I just want to get a few of these brighter streaks of yellow directly into the wet paint. Okay, so that's it for the first layer of your acrylic painting. Um, once this layer is dry, we'll come back and refine further. So that's going to mean darkening the shadows, getting a little bit richer, more vibrant color through here, really finding the nuance in the color. Um, coming a little further up and getting a few more of the half tones that occur when the red shifts to the yellow and the orange, as well as getting a bit more detail and pushing values in the stem of our apple. And we'll hit the background layer one more time to clean up the edges. Um, but, you know, all paintings start off a little bit scratchy and rough, particularly acrylic painting. So this is about the quality of painting that you should have after you have completed your drawing, transferred it, and begun blocking things in. Thanks so much, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.